All right, we'll continue on now with loading, resizing, and fading backdrop images. Uh, this is, uh, let me make something very, very clear. Floriani software works with both backdrop files, backdrop files being JPEGs, bitmaps, TIFFs, and such. It also works with vector-based files, AI files, and such. Uh, we'll get back to the vector files in, in the next video. We're going to talk specifically right now about all backdrop files, which again entail JPEGs, bitmaps, and such, etc. Uh, look, first of all, there's there's two ways to import your uh, backdrop files. Under File, you can just simply very easily click on Load Backdrops. All of your images, uh, again, all backdrop files are JPEGs, bitmaps, TIFFs, and such. Uh, that's a fairly simple way to do it. But the easiest way uh, is down here on the left menu. You'll see this icon right here. It is your backdrop tool. Simply left click on it. Up again, we'll open up your images. Uh, we'll go ahead and we can grab anything from here. Uh, let's, you know what, uh, uh, grab the basketball design and we'll just grab the basketball. Now, we're going to talk about uh, resizing right now. When you first import your graphic into the software, uh, you'll see over here in the, pop, in the properties box that we're on the backdrop tool. This is where the sizing takes place. Uh, one of the most important rules when you begin to digitize or before you digitize a design is the finished size. Only when you're working on the finished size of a design will you be able to determine the proper stitch type to use in any in every element of any given design. Now, you'll see that it's in a millimeters right now. Uh, as I said in an earlier video, I work metrically in embroidery, but I size in inches. My brain tends to work in inches when I think about a size. So with the software, we made it very, very simple. Certainly under tools and general options, you can change it from metric to inches. Uh, but the simplest way is go over here to the ruler on the far left or up on the top. Simply right click and toggle over to inches. You'll now see we're in inches. So if I want this to design in height and as long as as I have a, a one uh, one factor, just one size, either width or height, all you've got to put in one. Let's go ahead and make it three inches tall, and we'll simply hit apply at this point, and now the design uh, is sized in inches. I'll then again right click, and I'd simply jump back to metric at that point in time. Now, at the same time that I bring that image in and I size it, I can also adjust the, the, the brightness or the lightness from darker to lighter. You'll see over here in the properties box, I'm set on darker right now. Uh, uh, let's go about halfway over and I'll apply and I can soften the tones of any given image. If I go all the way over to the far right, light as it will almost disappear from the screen. In fact, it does disappear. Take it all the way to darker, hit apply and up it comes and it will uh, um, darken it. And so you have the easier image normally to work from. Uh, <coughs> sometimes if it and why you have this adjustment is when you go in to digitize utilizing the segment and auto digitizing for the magic wand sometimes if it's too dark it will perceive it as multiple colors where lightening it up slightly makes it look like it's a singular color image and that can help a great deal when you convert it over to stitches with segmented auto digitizing so again in loading backdrop files all your bitmaps jpegs tiffs and such either file and load backdrop or again, even simpler, just click on your backdrop tool right here on the left menu. Uh, that's how you load those files. Uh, the next video will deal with loading and resizing vector-based art. Have a great day, folks.